The title of this book is The Ultimate Guide to Glass Blowing. This book can be found in one's player owned house. The author is said to be Fritz the Glass Blower. Ultimate Guide to Glass Blowing. I can tell you now. The art of creating glass has long been a valued trade in RuneScape. Not many could get by without the use of some item made from this marvelous substance. It's within this book that we cover the basics of the art in a hope to get you hooked on this popular pastime and trade. To start with, you will need a few essential items. An empty bucket. These can be purchased from the majority of general stores and are required to carry the sand you will need to make glass. A glass blowing pipe. Found on Entrana or often just northwest of the Ranging Guild, as its name suggests, this is used to blow air into molten glass. Seaweed. Seaweed can be found on the shore in many places, but is also a frequent find when fishing with nets. This you will need to create soda ash, an important ingredient to the process. Soda ash. Made by burning seaweed, you will need this to make glass. Other than making it yourself, you can purchase it from other budding glass blowers. With these items, you are ready to begin. You'll need to find a sand pit, and there's a few dotted around RuneScape. Try the island of Entrana, or Yanel, for example. Use your bucket on the sand pit to fill it up. Next, you'll need to find your way to a furnace. Turn your seaweed into soda ash by using it on a range before using the bucket of sand or soda ash on the furnace to create molten glass. The last stage is simply to use the molten glass with your glass blowing pipe and depending on your level of skill you can create a variety of items. I hope you enjoyed this guide, and please keep an eye out for more of my titles. And we've reached the end of the Advanced Glass Blowing Manual by Fritz the Glass Blower. I hope you guys enjoyed that reading, and hope you found the lore behind glass making interesting. I guess it's a amateur hobby of many of RuneScape's NPCs, which I thought was pretty interesting. Well, I'll see you guys soon with the next audiobook, and as Fritz said, keep an eye out for my next title. Not only his, I don't know if Fritz wrote any other books in the game. I think that'd be interesting if uh, Fritz had other works. Pretty sure he doesn't, but that'd be a cool update, especially for like the Dorkish glass thing. Like, that'd be an interesting guide for it. Well, at any rate, peace, guys.